welcome back to KV solutions in this reaction 252 grams of C6H6O3 produces a 50 percent yield how many grams of water would be produced molar mass of C6H6O3 is 126 the first step would be to determine the theoretical yield. Theoretical yield can be found out by writing the equation and using stoichiometric ratio. This is the reaction and since our focus is on oxygen our focus is on this compound and this compound we would focus only on those two entities and write the stoichiometric ratio in this form one mole of C6H6O3 produces three moles of water So, the stoichiometric ratio is 1 mole to 3 moles. 1 mole of C6H6O3 produces 3 moles of water. Now, this is the theoretical ratio since we have been given the mass mass of C6H6O3 we will first convert the mass into moles number of moles is equal to mass in grams divided by molar mass and that is equal to 250 252 divided by 126 and we get 2 moles so these are the two moles of C6H6O3 and using our ratio this ratio one as to three we can say that if one mole of C6 H6O3 requires three moles of water in that case these two moles would require how many and the answer is six moles so theoretically six moles of water is to be produced however in practice it never happens 
we never get what theoretically we calculate and hence the practical yield is always either less than the theoretical yield. Now let us find how much is that practical yield we have been given yield percentage yield percentage and the formula which we are going to use is yield percentage is equal to practical yield into 100 divided by theoretical yield and that is equal to yield percentage is 50 which has been provided and we have been on practical yield which has to be found out theoretical yield is 6 moles into 100 therefore practical yield is equal to 50 into 6 divided by 100 and, and we get the answer as 3 moles 3 moles of water are actually or practically produced. Now let us convert the moles into grams. Moles, number of moles into the molar mass is equal to mass in grams and therefore we get mass in grams is equal to 3 into 18 that is equal to 54 grams that is our answer so just to recap first we established the stoichiometric ratio for the chemicals under consideration then we found the theoretical yield in more number of moles then we found out the practical yield by using this formula yield percentage is equal to practical yield divided by theoretical yield into 100 and finally we converted this number of moles into grams